good stuff cooking back here in the kitchen. John Conteras uh, from Nabil's is with us today. Hey, John. Hey, how are you today? I, I think when you were, Mickey was back here with you earlier, he doesn't naturally think steak when he thinks of Nabil's. Yeah. But this but is one of y'all's on your menu, right? On the menu and very favorite dish, you know, with uh, for dinner only, not for mm -hmm. lunch. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will call it John's steak. And uh, Mickey said, how can you call it John's steak if you are with Nabil's? But my name is John Crontier, <laughs> so right. I call it so John Steak. You call it whatever you yeah. want to. And I tell you, after I prepare it, I tell you a very interesting story why we call it John Steak. Okay, so what kind of steak are you using? It's a sirloin, uh, New York strip. Okay. About eight to ten ounces. Okay. So we've got a nice little New York strip going here. Yeah. And we have it right you here. You know, you see how, how nice it looks. Mm hmm and uh, you know this uh, marbling in here mm -hmm. you know makes it very very tasty mm -hmm. because you know it mixes in together with the red meat it really and is funny because you might look at a steak that looks prettier because it doesn't have the marbling but the marbling makes it taste better the, yeah the flavor it makes mm -hmm. the flavor better so i mix some uh, oregano okay salt and a little bit of pepper mm -hmm. and and put it on it. So you make it kind like of like this, a dry rub. Like so you don't marinate it, you just no, dry no, rub. No, we don't okay. marinate it, no. And we'll do it like this in the restaurant every day. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll cut them fresh. Okay. Uh, and one of the things that we do mm -hmm. in Greece, there is two things. Olive oil, lemon, and oregano. Okay. So we have to squeeze a little bit of, of lemon on it. So put lemon right on the grill when you, when you put it on there. Okay. That's right. And uh, the story about this is like this, you know, before I got invited in the restaurant business, mm -hmm. I was an executive with a local international company mm -hmm. and traveling around the world. We had offices all over the place. And one time I was in Johannesburg mm -hmm. and we invited a lot of customers, about 12 couples. And I said, uh, I'm going to do the cooking. Okay. And that's how I started cooking. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you enjoyed it obviously already. <laughs> I, I did. And that was so your decision So I, I went to a, a local store, to a butcher store, and we bought some uh, steaks and started cooking it. And it was so delicious and flavorful, some of the people said, we need to give this steak a name. And I said, what do you mean? He said, yeah, we need to call it John Steak. So, <laughs> so therefore it is John yeah, Steak. John steak. So when you open the bills, there John came, Steak right, right, goes on right, the menu. Right in place. All right, now how do you like your steak cooked? I like mine medium rare. How do you like yours? Medium rare is between seven and uh, 10 minutes on each side. Mm -hmm. I like mine uh, medium well. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, Medium well is about 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes on each side. Just a little bit of pink in it? Is that a little bit of pink. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And one, <laughs> one secret thing that I do mm -hmm. is I rub some, rub, uh, some uh, butter on each side of the, of the steak. While as, it's as, on the grill. Uh, while on the grill. You know, rub it like this. Mm -hmm. It makes it uh, kind of a little bit more tender. And of course, again, every time I turn it, you know, squeeze the lemon on it. Now, see, I wouldn't think about putting, I don't really think about lemon on a steak. Oh, what made man. you, you know, decide it, to try it, the I'm going to let you try it, and you won't believe how good it is. So what, what made uh, you decide to try lemon? Was that just a, a family recipe, or you just no, tried it No, you know, yourself? that's a Greek ingredient. Like I was telling you, olive oil, oregano. Whatever and, it is, and lemon. it has they that in it. You put lemon all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I have fish, I put lemon in it. No matter what the I dish. have steak, I have lemon in it. I have <laughs> whatever I have, I always squeeze lemon on it. That's <laughs> lemon uh, in it. <laughs> And then here we're doing uh, fries, uh -huh. which uh, it's uh, Idaho fries, and we we'll cut them fresh all the time. You mm -hmm. know, we don't use frozen, and have uh, zero trans fat oil that okay. we cook them in. So, so you, I'm going to put some fries here with the, the plate. Steak. Okay. <coughs> right. I see you like to leave a little bit of the peeling on there, don't yeah. you? Do it like this, mm -hmm. and take the one that is already ready, mm -hmm. and put it here like this, and that's how we serve it in the restaurant. You can sit it right there, John, they'll get yeah. a good shot of it. Um, so that's what it would be like at night, but it, again, it's not yeah, on the lunch Yeah, at night, menu. you know, Monday through Saturday. Okay. You know, that's John's steak, not John's <laughs> restaurant, John's <laughs> Nabil steak, okay? It's Remember. Nabil's <laughs> restaurant, John's Just steak. steak. <laughs> John, I love you. So, All that's right. great. Uh, if you want to try this recipe, it'd be kind of cool to add the lemon and stuff if you don't normally do that. Or you can go down to Bill's uh, one night and let them cook yeah. it for you. John, thank you, honey. Thank you very it's much. It's good to see you. MyFoxAL.com. We'll have it on the website a little bit later on today. All right, coming up, Mickey's going to show you how one sports...